TV. This is a weird one. Joanna Lopez. There was, um, back in the day, TV stations would, would sign off at midnight. After the news and after, I think Johnny Carson was the last thing on, they would sign off for the night. And they would either have a waving flag or some channels might just have the horizontal stripe bars. Um, well, they would have a waving flag and play the national anthem. Then they would either have the striped bars, snow, or just something thrown up there until they went back on the air in the morning. Um, believe it or not, I remember those days. <laughs> um, I am surprised, however, at the time of this particular incident, that they were still going off the air because this was 1989. We had cable by then. Nothing was going off the air by then. So it surprised me that a little local station, like I guess there were a few stations that did go off the air then um, that we had. But most of them did. Um, and again, I'm not going to give you the phone number because it's no longer the phone number for the missing persons unit in Chicago where this was. Uh, it was the NBC affiliate WMAQ. Right after the channel's sign-off, uh, a missing persons poster was shown for the rest of the morning until the channel signed on again. The image shown um, had the word missing, like I said, across the diagonally across the sides like a ribbon. Um, they showed the same poster after signing off in 1991, where it shows it for about 10 seconds before switching to color bars and a tone. The quality of the image in this version was slightly higher than the 1989 version. It's still the same image. Um, I want to thank the people who read it and um, Georgia Marie for this. Um, they think that it was an accident that it was put up again in 1991. And somebody saw it like, ruh and pulled it down. Um, they did find a Joanna Lopez, which they thought could be, um, we call it, um, Um, that it could have been a mistake, that um, it could be that they put in a tape and that was still on the end of the tape for the night, so they pulled it when they saw it. Um, but there's nothing about her. There was no accompanying voiceover. There was no anything. She was an African-American girl wearing big glasses and... Um, this person on Reddit found missing persons PSAs that could, you know, from the ends of newscasts for Kevin Ayotte, Juanita Estevez, Regina Armstrong, and Eugene Martin. Um, So, like I said, they thought they might have found her, but they never really got to talk to her too much, the one, the person that they found. Um, you'll see the quality of the image in my poster. It's not good. Um, but if this person is actually missing still, then her poster still needs to go out there and we need more information. We can see she's an African-American teenager wearing big glasses. Hold on. Battery. Hey guys. I'm back. I had to change the battery. Um, 
So we need to keep it out there until we find out. But if she was found, she was a runaway, if she was found or whatever, the police should come out and set the record straight. That's my opinion. Um, so I'll see you next time for another episode of The Missing TV. And we don't have a special month this month. We don't have another special month until August. When we do Unidentified August. That means every case in August, including Doe Fridays, will be a dub. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much. We want to get to 500 subscribers by August 4th. Um, and we can do that with your help. You guys have been amazing. I've had amazing commenters. Um, my subscriptions are going through the roof, and I can't thank you enough for that. God bless you. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye, guys.